I just told my wife she embarrassed me for bringing a meal to my work for me. Yeah, I know, I might sound a little ridiculous with that, but when I tell you why I was so embarrassed that my wife would show up to my workplace with a hot meal, you might be on my side. Are you ready for this one? Cause I sure am. Okay, so I like really messed up big time, and I'm not sure if I'm the a-hole here or if my wife seriously crossed the line, so buckle up because this is a wild ride. I work at this hipster vegan food company. You know, the type, all organic, save the planet vibes, the whole nine yards. When I applied, I may have, um, stretched the truth a bit. Told them that I was vegan. <laughs> Look, times were tough and I needed a job. Sue me. Now, my wife, Lissandra, is this smoking hot Venezuelan goddess. I'm talking straight fire. Well, we've been married for three years. And our shared love of Latin food is our little secret pleasure. Seriously, give me some good carne asada any day over tofu. So here's where crap hit the fan. Today, out of nowhere, Lissandra shows up at my work. I'm in the middle of meeting about our uh, new line of kale chips or whatever. And uh, then, bam! There she is, all smiles, giggly, holding a bag that smelled like heaven. At first, I'm thinking, oh, that's sweet. Then it hits me. The smell. Tacos. Not just any tacos, chicken tacos, the real deal, dripping with grease and packed with meat straight from the taqueria. You should have seen my coworkers' faces. It was like someone had just dropped a steak in the middle of a pita conversation. My boss, uh, this guy, who probably hasn't touched meat since the 90s, is looking at me like I just sacrificed a cow in the break room. I panicked. I told everybody, oh, oh uh, uh, she, she must have uh, thought they were, uh, you know, those new plant-based chicken tacos, yeah. Yeah, real smooth, I know. Nobody bought it. I basically shove Lissandra out the door, yelling at her that I'd see her at home. Then, uh, to try to save face, I threw those heavenly tacos into the dumpster, right in front of her and my coworkers. Yeah, I know, that looks like a jerk. The rest of the day was a nightmare. People give me the cold shoulder, whispering behind my back. I even got a text from my boss saying, We need to talk tomorrow. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, I get home. And I lose it. I'm yelling at Lissandra, calling her every name in the book. How could you be so stupid? Do you want me to lose my job? What the hell were you thinking? Well, here's the deal. I never actually told her about my little white lie at work. She had no clue that she was walking into Vegan Central with a meat bomb. But come on, shouldn't she have asked first? Who just shows up at their spouse's work with steaming hot food without checking? Now she's crying in the bedroom and I'm on the couch rage typing this post. I'm pretty sure I'm about to be unemployed. Oh, and the cherry on top. Some jerk from work keeps texting me calling me Chicken Boy. Ah, real mature, Brad. I don't know what to do. How the hell do I face everyone at work tomorrow? What do I say to my boss and Lissandra? Christ, I said some nasty crap to her. But I'm so upset. This is her fault, right? Part of me knows I messed up with the initial lie, but come on, it's not like I was hurting anyone. I was doing my job, wasn't I? Is it really that big of a deal that I enjoy a burger now and then? I need advice, guys. How do I fix this cluster duck? Do I come clean at work, double down on the lie, start polishing my resume? And what about Lissandra? I love her, but right now I can barely look at her without wanting to scream. Ugh, I think I hear her crying again. Gosh, I'm such a jerk. But she started this, right? Right? Someone tell me what to do before I lose my cool. I'm an a-hole, I guess. How do I get out of this mess? Guys, you will not believe. The next update, let me just read the title to you. Am I the a-hole? For telling my wife she embarrassed me by bringing a meal to work, I'm done with her. I want you guys to be prepared for this one because this update and here on out, it's just going to escalate to a crazy point. But first of all, let me know in the comment section if you think OP treated his wife way too wrong. It's his fault for lying. Let's hop into the first update and see how this disaster turns out. Ugh, throw a duck at me sideways. 
Guys, I thought I would be back with some good news, but this crap storm just keeps getting worse. Ugh, it's bad. So yesterday morning, I dragged my sorry butt to work. Felt like I was walking into the gallows, I swear. As soon as I get in, Karen from HR gives me this look like I drop-kicked a kitten. Then my boss, Steve, calls me into the office. Ugh. I sit down, Steve's got this face on, you know? That I'm not angry, I'm disappointed look. He starts in about how I compromise the integrity of our workplace culture with the chicken tacos. I'm sitting there biting my tongue so hard I tasted blood. Ugh, is that considered vegan? Thinking of all the ways I'm going to tear Lissandra a new one when I get home. But uh, then Steve drops the mother of all bombshells. Turns out some big panchy schmanchy corporate vegan jerk was in the office when Tonko Get On went on. This guy, get this. He told Steve he could not sleep all night because the smell of chicken was, quote, haunting his nostrils. And he was violently ill all night. Are you kidding me? What is he, five? Long story short, I'm suspended for a week. No pay. Do you guys have any idea how much this is going to duck me over? I was this close to finally upgrading my computer rig. I had my eye on this sick 3090 graphics card and everything. Now I might not even have enough money to make rent. But you know what? Screw it. This is 100% Lissandra's fault. She can pick up some extra shift at the hospital to cover rent. I'm still getting that GPU if it kills me. I need something to do during this BS suspension, right? I know some of you in the comments were saying I'm being a jerk. But come on, put yourself in my shoes for a second. She could have gotten me fired over Tonko's. How is that fair? So, here's where I'm at. I'm gonna ride out this suspension, maybe catch some rays by the pool, and finally enjoy some real food without worrying about the vegan police busting down my door. But I'm freaking out, guys. What if they dig deeper? What if they find out I've been lying this whole time? Should I start looking for a new job, come clean, double down on the lie? And Lysandra Christ. I said some pretty awful things to her. She was barely speaking to me. Part of me knows that I ducked up, but I'm still a worried and angry. This is her fault, isn't it? But what if she leaves me? What if I've ruined everything over a stupid taco and a lie that got way out of hand? I'm losing my mind here. One minute I'm furious, the next I'm on the verge of a panic attack. What would you do? I mean, what the hell do I do? How do I fix this? Uh, should I grovel to Steve? Should I grovel to Lysandra? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, uh, to the corporate vegan crybaby? Please, I need some advice before I completely lose it. I'm still an a-hole here. How do I salvage my job, my marriage, and what's left of my sanity? Because right now, I feel like I'm watching my whole life go up in flames. Oh yeah, I read some of the first comments. The one that really tilted me, it said, The way I'm treating Lysandra is messed up. I told you, she almost cost me her job. I think the only reason she married me anyways is for a green card. Does she really love me? Ah, I'll update you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I told you that update was wild. Can you just think about that green card at the end? What a jerk! This girl was bringing him tacos because she loves him. And this is how he treats her? Well, guys, the next update says this. Am I the a-hole for kicking Lysandra out of my house after she got me fired? Update number two. Ugh. Duck my life. Just duck everything. Every time I think this crap show can get worse, the universe says challenge accepted. Grab a drink because you're going to need it. So remember Donnie, my a vegan boss who suspended me over Taco Gate? Yeah, he called me into his office today, and I swear I nearly crapped myself walking in. The dude's face looked like he just found out his dog's been secretly eating a steak. He sits me down and drops this nuclear bomb. Ugh, we found your post online, buddy. Yeah. My stomach, it instantly hit a black hole. Turns out some idiot's co-worker, they won't say who, probably because they know I'd go postal, stumbled across the very thread that you're reading now, and saw the main post and showed it to HR. Donnie goes off on this holier-than-thou rant about corporate values, ethical integrity, yada yada yada. Bottom line, I'm fired. No severance, no second chances, nothing. Oh, and that bonus I've been busting my butt for for years. Gone. Apparently getting canned means kissing the sweet cash goodbye. 
I'm sitting there trying not to vomit, watching three years of my life circle down the drain, and all I can think of is that Lysandra's fault. Uh, if she just minded her own damn business with those tacos. I get home and I lose it. I mean, I lose it. I'm screaming at Lysandra so loud her neighbor, Karen, yeah, actual name, go figure. She calls the cops and I explain to Officer Jerk that my wife basically torpedoed my career with tacos. Well, you know what this a-hole has the audacity to say? Ugh, oh, man, I'd let your wife bring me tacos anytime. Like, dude, are you kidding me? So here's where crap stands. I kick Lysandra out. Yeah, yeah, I know she pays most of the rent, but guess what? My name's on the lease, so tough crap. I'm thinking of selling this place and lawyering up for divorce. I can see some of you keypad warriors typing, You're the a-hole! But you know what? I don't care. You don't get it. My entire life is in shambles because my wife couldn't keep her nose out of my business. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just forgive and forget? I'm spiraling here. No job, probably no wife soon, and I'm one small push away from a complete psychological breakdown. What the ever-loving mess do I do? How do I get out of this situation? Guys, I'm a drowning in panic attacks. My phone's blowing up with texts from coworkers calling me every name in the book, and I think I hear Lysandra crying outside the door. I can't think straight. Every time I close my eyes, I see those tacos mocking me. Somebody, anybody, please tell me how to fix this. I'm desperate. Please, I'm begging here. Just when you thought things would not get any better. It doesn't for OP. Well, no, it doesn't because I have a final update for you and I'll tell you. It only gets better for Lysandra. Finally. Final update, the title is, Am I Embarrassed for What I've Just Done? Guys, I know it's been a long time since I've posted... I think it's like six months. Uh, uh, well, grab a seat. The months after my last update have been absolutely agonizing pure hell. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't function, I lost so much weight and not in a good way. My brain was just this endless loop of you messed up, man, on repeat. Lysandra. She kept trying to contact me at first, I mean calls, text messages, even showed up at the house a couple times, but I ignored her. I told her I was filing a divorce. Well, she finally got the hint and stopped trying three months ago. Well, guess she found herself a new apartment when I kicked her out. But here's the thing. I finally landed a new job, and get this, I'm making a lot more than I did at Vegan Paradise. Turns out my finance degree is actually worth something. Who knew? So yeah, life's okay, I guess, but here's where it gets messed up. Remember that jerk cop from the last update, the one that said he would quote let my wife bring him tacos anytime? Well, guess who I saw Lysandra with last week? That's right, Officer Taco. And they weren't just grabbing coffee, if you know what I mean. I'm sick to my stomach. I tried talking to Lysandra, but she called me a bum. And she walked away. Oh, and those divorce papers. I was going to send them to her, but she sent them to me. And they're real. We're actually going through with this. And you know what the worst part possibly is, guys? All those comments telling me I overreacted, that the job wasn't worth Lysandra's feelings, forget about it. I think you guys might have been right. Now that I'm out of vegan uh, territory, I'm starting to see how crazy the whole situation was. I mean, she brought me tacos. So here I am, guys. New job, new pay, no wife. And it's hitting me like a ton of bricks that I might have messed up. Bad. I can't stop thinking about Lysandra. And all the good times that we shared. About how she used to look at me and now she's with Taco Cop. Probably laughing about what an idiot I am in between bites of carne asada. I'm desperate here, guys. How do I fix this? Can I fix this? Is there any way to get Lysandra back? Or did I burn the bridge so bad that she's seen it leave in ashes? I'm starting to beg at this point. Forgive me. Tell me how I make things right. What do I do? You know what? This will probably be my final update because I can't take this anymore. Guys, that was indeed the final update. Nothing else has been posted from OP, but the first time it is, you will be the first to see it. If you enjoyed today's story, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I just need to talk about a few things because there was a comment argument. That's right, there's an argument between two commenters. And can you believe somebody's on OP's side? Here's the first comment. It says, are you kidding me? Jordan is clearly the victim here. I mean, his wife should have known better than to show up at his workplace unannounced. 
He's just trying to keep his job, for heaven's sakes, and provide for his family. Cut the guy some slack. Comment 2 says, Victim? Please. Jordan lied to get his job and then blamed his wife for his own mistakes. He needs to grow up and take responsibility for his actions. Lazandra deserves better than this man-child. And I think she got it with this new hunk of a cop. Comment 3. Oh, come on. A little white lie to get a job is hardly a capital offense. Everybody does it. The real issue is the wife's complete lack of consideration for Jordan's work environment. She should have asked first and known what vegan meant. Comment 4. Everyone does it. It's not an excuse for lying. And have you forgotten how he treated her afterwards? That's the key of the story. Screaming at her. Kicking her out of the house. Well, that's straight up emotional abuse over some tacos. Jordan needs therapy, not excuses. And it makes me think you're the same. Therapy, says the final comment, for what? Having a normal reaction to potentially losing his job. You're being way too harsh, he panicked. Sure, but can you blame him? His whole career was on the line, and that's my final thought. Guys, let me know which comment you're rocking with down below in our comment section. And if you were in OP's position and your beautiful wife, Lysandra, brings you these tacos, how would you react? Me, personally, I'm going to quit that vegan job and eat those tacos with her. Let me know in the comment section down below which side you're rocking with. And of course, remember, it's cool to be kind.